All right, how's everybody doing? I hope the chainsaw in the background ain't bothering anybody. I'm gonna keep it running because it's when it's cold for some reason, it act like it don't want to crank. So, as you can see, the pond is frozen over, and it's sleet on top of it. Needless to say, it's cold out here. I really don't want to talk about much. Just got a few updates for now. As uh, just on a few things, I might do some in-depth videos about them here in the future. But as you can see, I cut that big landing tree down. Also, this tree here, I'm gonna harvest the entire tree on this side. Think about making some cutting boards out of it. Somebody gave me that idea. But anyway, we'll see. Um, this tree here, I'm gonna harvest the whole thing, of course, cut it up. That chainsaw's probably gonna be a problem. But that tree there, I think I'm gonna keep it in its entirety to, uh, for a later project. This little tree here, side let him stay for now. And it's a few more little tiny teenage trees I think I'm about leaving. But as you can see, I got quite a bit done. The only thing I got to clear is basically the upper hill side right there and that little back corner. And then I'll come trim the edges up around it and I'll leave the rest. This is just the area that I'm gonna deal with. Uh, I want to talk about one thing. I got finally got the uh, light installed. It's a solar light slash camera. I got it on a tree right there. I don't know if you can see it. It's just temporary. It's motion detected and uh, cell phone, you know, deal. But another thing, uh, it's about 20 degrees, maybe maybe 18, 19 degrees. Light sleep, sleep. I got this. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. I had been admiring those, uh, admiring those solo stoves for a while, and had every intention on getting one. The price just wasn't right, right? So. Needless to say, I just, I had a deal for two for one. They one on the Solo Stove website. You can get them two for one. It was the, uh, the Titan, I believe, which is the size that one is. And, uh, it was two for like $75. Pretty good deal. Two for 80 or something like that. It was just like a three or four month run. And of course I procrastinated and ended up not being able to get it. And then went back to like a hundred dollars a piece, you know. So I kind of lost on that one. But I looked and looked at the website for at least a year, about twice a month, and it never went back down. So needless to say, I didn't didn't score that. But I was in Walmart, and of course I'm sure y'all might have seen these. They got a, another brand. Of course there's a few brands out there, but Walmart decided to come up with the, I think this is the Ozark Trails brand here the stainless steel double wall works off the same principle and uh for half the price so the box was torn i even got a discount so and uh, i've been using it just to keep your hands warm i hadn't put nothing on it just i just been using it as a hand warm it works pretty good just medium-sized twigs and, uh whatever and it'll run good for you oh uh, so that's been pretty pretty much it. It's, it's it, to me, it's the same thing. It comes with a little carrying case. It just don't got the brand. It has no name on it actually, but it's been smoking all morning. So that's uh, I had my uh, wheel, my uh, dump wagon, dumped all the logs out by accident. I uh, guess I'll pick them up. I want to move them up to this center pile. So when I do process them down to the proper size. Uh, which would take probably, it's going to be an all-day event when I really get to organize and all that harvested uh, harvested uh, wood. Uh, so I just, I really wanted to like process it as I went to keep from having a huge buildup, but that hasn't happened. Uh, trying to beat the spring growth, 
I kind of been cutting some corners, skipping around a few things, and that's one of them. I'm, I'll pay for it with the day of work, but at least I'll have it all cleared so I won't be covered in poison ivy this spring. Uh, that's my plan anyway. Looking at the trees, after I get these two trees, well, like I said, that one's going to stay long, so I'm not going to cut that one. But when I get this side processed down, uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut another one, maybe that leaning one there. And every time I cut one, the sky opens up, you know. And, uh, of course, all of these big ones are coming down. And I'm uh, just going to take it tree by tree. I don't want to make a mess, you know. You know, I'll, I'll harvest all of them, actually. All of them going to be repurposed and uh, placed in. I'm going to build a new log section. This time I'm going to go with something a little more permanent. But I got to get the majority of the trees cut before I do that because I don't want to build it and get, get destroyed by a falling tree. That's why I'm holding off on a lot of uh, established things, you know. Plus, I got to beat the spring growth no matter what. That'll really... That spring growth and those spring showers hinders my work quite a bit because what happens is the poison ivy moves in here, the creepy crawlers move in here, the slitherers, the runners, and everything else. Um, mosquitoes, flies come from somewhere, I don't know, uh, in the heat. So the more open it is, the easier it'll be for me to get down in here, plus the rain. Almost got stuck yesterday because of a slick spot up towards the uh, entrance where it's kind of rutted out a little bit. And I need to put some gravel up there to to secure that. But even back here, when it rains quite a bit, you know, it's, it's dirt. So it gets muddy. It gets slick. So I don't have, that's not a, that vehicle's not an all-wheel drive. The big van handles it much better because it's got all-terrain tires on it. But that one just got road slicks. And, uh. I'm primarily using that van as well, just to run around town and run around the highway and work pretty much exclusively, uh, pretty much nothing else. Um, it served its purpose well so far, so good. And gas mileage is much better. But needless to say, that's the updated progress for now. I'm going to get back to work snow's moving in we'll just work in it and i'm gonna just keep uh processing these uh limbs so i can move forward onto the next phase which is more processing of more limbs and more trees hopefully i'll have this area cleared out as soon as possible i'm not gonna put a timeline on it but i need to get it done as soon as possible so i can get that gravel truck out here and then that'll 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 allow me to get down here rain sleet or snow right now it's just fair weather you know I can get down in here, but I don't want to get stuck because there's there's no one to help me get unstuck. I need a come along, to be honest with you. I can at least try to hook to a tree, and I don't know how good that'll do me. But anyway, we, we don't want to get stuck. Let's just leave it at that. Um, uh, what? Uh, yeah. So you know, once the gravel is down and spread, and I get the moisture uh, weed barrier down, and then I can move forward. I'll be able to get in here and this snow because the weather. Really, it's something I'm not really concerned about because um, it holds me up too much. It's, the, red is, the weather's too inconsistent in this area, and I got to keep moving forward because I have a. I put a timeline on the actual whole project for myself, so I got to kind of meet it, you know, because I got some other irons in the fire. All right, this is uh, Rod. I'm going to get on out of here. Y'all be safe, stay warm. And uh, stay vigilant. Peace.